Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is Kurt Haller. I'm the general manager for the Intuaface business in North America. And today I'd like to talk with you about creating an analytics-based services offering for your business. To start with, since everyone listening is bringing a different set of skills and experiences, I thought it might be a good idea to briefly answer the question, what is analytics? At its core, analytics is the use of data to answer business questions, discover relationships, predict unknown outcomes, and automate decisions. Peter Drucker, a famous consultant and author, who is considered by many to be the father of modern business management, once said, if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. Well, that implies two things. One, knowing what needs to be measured, and two, being able to actually measure it. Analytics is also a tool for helping to improve decision-making, to capture data, aggregate that data, and visualize that data to measure where we are at a given point in time. These measurements can be vital to help your customers run their business which creates an important link with your project. Analytics is also Intuaface Analytics, a complete solution for defining, collecting, visualizing, and sharing information collected on or near the screens running your Intuaface-based experiences. Now that we all have the same definition of analytics, what is an analytics-based services offering? An analytics-based services offering is an agreement with your client on the business outcomes or objectives of your interactive digital project. It's the measures that will be taken along the way to determine if progress is being made and periodic review to support staying on top of the current path or making course corrections along the way. The first step is understanding and documenting your client's objectives. Why are they choosing to invest in this project? Many business objectives can be boiled down to one of two things, increase revenues or decrease costs. But sometimes you'll have secondary objectives like maximizing the use of self-service kiosks. Or maybe business questions such as who's using the kiosks, and what content are they interacting with. It's good practice to talk with your client to discuss the desired outcomes of the project and then document those objectives as a basis for moving forward. The second step is to define how you're going to measure progress towards these objectives. Let's say a retail business wants to increase orders of products not available in the physical store. Maybe they want to offer more sizes and colors or a greater assortment. So they've decided on an endless aisle kiosk strategy. Well, they might like to know, for example, what products are being viewed most often on the kiosks. That might lead them to actually stocking some of those products in the stores versus only having them available on the kiosk. Perhaps they'd like to track the number of orders that are being placed per kiosk. It might be interesting for them to compare the number of sessions to the number of orders actually coming from the kiosk to see if there is a difference. Perhaps they want to be able to look at the number of completed orders versus any abandoned carts to see if there might be areas during the checkout process that could need improvement. The third step is providing periodic access to measures and KPIs to your client's executive team to help them understand the progress being made towards their objectives and to stimulate a dialogue for any course corrections that might be required along the way. Why would you want to offer this to your clients? Well, first of all, 
as proof to your clients that project objectives are being met. They invested in you and your solution expecting a certain outcome. If your project delivers that outcome, then you have a successful project and a happy customer and a reference. This will make it easier to secure funding for the next project as you've proven your value. If your project is not progressing towards your desired outcome, it's good to understand that as early as possible so changes could be made as warranted. Maybe it's a change to the content, or maybe it's changing the location of the kiosk. Having the data to offer some insight as to why things might not be on track will actually help to strengthen the relationships you have with your customers. An analytics-based services offering will allow you to have a continuing dialogue with your client executives, the ones making decisions on this and future projects. Analytics positions you to have business conversations versus technology-oriented conversations, offering greater value for your clients and sometimes greater margins for you. Have you ever lost a project to someone charging higher prices? it's likely they were able to show greater value and justify that higher price. Analytics can potentially help you with that. And lastly, relevance. It's good to regularly remind customers the value they are getting from you and your solution. And if for some reason they're not getting value, it's better for you to know that as soon as possible so changes can be made. So what are some examples of KPIs and other insights that you can get using analytics? Well, to start with, maybe you want to look at the number of sessions per hour, per day, uh, etc. It could be useful to know how often your signage is being used. Maybe you're interested in average dwell time. You can gain additional insights from knowing how long someone is using your experience. Then there's all the most viewed and least viewed. It could be the most viewed categories, the most viewed products, the most viewed scenes or videos, or it could be the least viewed scenes or videos or categories or products. It's good to know what people are looking at, but it's also really good to know what they're not looking at because that may lead to different changes in your content or your strategy. Perhaps a sales team is using Intuaface to make presentations to customers. Well, their management might want to know how often sales reps are pitching to customers, which areas or products are of most interest, or maybe which features don't seem to resonate with customers at all. To your KPIs, you can also add contextual data that can provide additional insight. If you're a retailer, you probably want to know how your kiosks are performing in various locations in the store, so you can move them to where they get the most use. Maybe you want to compare how kiosks in different stores are performing, or maybe in different cities, or maybe in different regions of the world. It's interesting for a retailer to track a KPI such as, you know, the number of orders per kiosk per day. But it might be more insightful if you can provide some context, such as how many of those orders are coming from women versus men. You could be surprised to learn that one gender uses the kiosk more often than the other, and that could alter your content or your marketing strategy. Computer vision can also give us insight by measuring the number of impressions, for example, how many people could have seen your content, the number of views, how many people did directly look at your content, and dwell time, how long did they spend looking at your content. If you're not sure where to start, there's a great blog article on the Intuaface website called Three Charts You'll Use in 
any analytics project. And I'd highly recommend that you read through this article to get started. So let's take a look at how to actually deliver an analytics based service. So we've put together these six steps that you can follow. The first step is to clarify and document your client's objectives. So let's say we're talking to a museum and we're in kind of the pilot phase of this museum and we'd like to maximize the use of digital exhibits within the museum. So we want to take a look at where should those digital exhibits be placed? Does their location make a difference? One way we can figure that out is through analytics. Our second step will be to define and agree on the KPIs to measure progress towards these objectives. And for doing that, we'd like to understand the session count, how often are they being used, and the dwell time, how often during that use are people actually spend using the kiosk. The next step is to define the data that needs to be collected in support of the KPI measurement. So for each kiosk location, we'll want to look at the session account. Let's assume a new session starts when the exhibit is initiated through interaction, and we'll assume a session has ended either after a preset timeout or when a restart option is selected. For each kiosk location, we'll also want to look at the dwell time, so the average length of sessions for each location that the experience was used. The next step is to design the Intuiface experience to capture the data that we've defined above. So in the experience, we might want to display a start button so that a visitor that came up to the digital experience would know, oh, there's a start button. I'm going to start that to have a new experience. At the same time, we also could insert an interact an inactivity timer so that if the experience hasn't been used for a preset period of time, we could automatically default back to the start scene so that we know when the next person comes, it's a new session. The next step would be to create the charts that we use to visualize progress and identify any trends. Those charts might be one of total session count segmented by each location for the duration of the project. And the last one might be the average dwell time, again, segmented by location for the duration of the project. And then lastly, you want to share dashboards with your client executives to evaluate the performance. And you'll simply take your charts, create a dashboard that you can then share with your client and executive team and the project team. So now that we've covered how to create and deliver an analytics-based services offering, what are some possible next steps? You might want to consider one of our analytics service offerings. The first is our analytics insight offering. This is a free one hour consulting session with one of our experts who will help you identify the key performance indicators that will best represent your project goals. This is a live discussion because we want you to be part of the process. The goal is not just to provide guidance, but also to share our methodology so that you can do it yourself. We teach you to fish rather than catching the fish for you, helping you with the skills you'll need to deliver your own analytics-based services offering. The second is our analytics bootstrap to help implement the project KPIs. The analytics bootstrap is a fee-based service that builds on the analytics insight offering. We provide you with hands-on guidance to collect the data from your Intuiface experience needed to support your measures and KPIs. And then we help you to create the charts to visualize your progress. We include a 30-day post-deployment review to ensure that the right data is being collected and the charts are effectively presenting the KPIs that we agreed on. At the end of the bootstrap, you'll have all the hands-on skills needed to deliver an analytics-based services offering to your clients. 
Thank you for listening. And at this point in time, I'd like to ask, are there any comments or questions?